Less than a century ago, people used to live for 55 years. Today, people around the world live for 80 years. And some of us believe that one day we might live forever. Literature and research attributes the increasing life expectancy in a great deal to the development of antibiotics. But we, as humans do, have used and abused antibiotics. This has led to the bacteria to evolve and create antibiotic resistance, leaving some infections currently untreatable. The rise of antibiotic resistance has been identified as one of the greatest global health challenges that we face today. Currently, two million people are diagnosed with antibiotic resistance every year. And of those, 700,000 people die. That means that 700,000 people had an infection that could not be cured timely using antibiotics. The worst case we heard yesterday is a woman from Nevada. She had a superbug that was resistant to 26 antibiotics. Those are all of the antibiotics available in the United States. That means that with access to some of the best medical care around the world, her infection was still untreatable. But the worst part about this problem is not the current state, but the trajectory. The World Bank estimates that by 2050, like the woman in Nevada, 10 million people will die from antibiotic resistance. We are Next Biotics, and we're a biotechnology platform that engineers viruses for good. We're going to fight antibiotic resistance, engineering bacteriophage using CRISPR. CRISPR is a cutting-edge gene-editing tool that expands the possibility of digital biology. Our approach to market and use of the technology is unique, and we're working on developing our patent. We spent our time at GSP working on a proof of concept, engineering a virus that can kill a specific bacteria. But our goal is to become an engineered viruses for good company, and this has multiple uses. So we can use for human therapeutics in antibiotic resistance, but we can also target it in livestock and agriculture. We can try to kill the bacteria in food before you're consuming or sterilize the environment. But we're going to start with humans, because it is the most challenging and the most pressing issue that we need to solve. The timing for this is right. The problem is hitting a tipping point. If we don't address antibiotic resistance now, we might lose our chance. The technology is ready. CRISPR has proven time and time again that it can engineer viruses. And the legislation environment is changing. Regulation is speeding up the process of approval for medical drugs. We also have the right team to execute. Angie's an experienced entrepreneur, and she worked as the strategy leader for the largest pharmaceutical company in Mexico. Jorge is a PhD candidate in biophysics at UC Berkeley, and he spent the last four years working at the Doubtnet Lab, where the CRISPR technology was developed. His skill set is unique not only here, but around the world. And my name is Maricel. I have a finance background and experience in strategy consulting. I've helped industry leaders build new businesses. We want to enable you to live both longer and healthier lives. We're Next Biotics, engineered viruses for good. Thank you.